the last week um, I suppose a bit of a bonus, uh, nine day break between the, the last game and your first final, does that come in handy to have a couple of extra days under your belt? Uh, not really, no, the, the break isn't essential, you know, um, you know, we get an extra training session in, but this time of year there's not a huge amount you can get from that, so it's not a massive advantage, no. It's good for guys like Eric McKenzie who are trying to prove their fitness. Uh, yeah, I think Easy would get up, regardless of when the game was being played this week. I'm, I'm pretty confident he'll be right. Did Lee move pretty well out there during training before? Eric? Eric, yes, yeah. So I, I think um, he was a chance last week, and, and um, I'm pretty sure he'll be right this week. He's obviously a good player, T-back one, but it must be good to know that you'll have him back in there. Yeah, so, and um, obviously North Melbourne are pretty tall as well, so uh, it's good to have Easy back, so long as he, he's still got a few more boxes to tick, but I'm pretty confident he'll get them. How about JK? Yeah, I'm not too sure about JK. Um, I'm, I think uh, I think he should be right, but I'm not exactly certain, to be honest. Have you seen him today at all? Yes, I have, yeah. And how was he? Yeah, he was good. He was moving fine, what I saw, but um, I don't think he trained today, So, uh, but it's still um, you know, five or six days of the game. How have you seen his form since he's come back? Good, good. So he's, um, you know, uh, it's been great that he's been able to come back and play a couple of games and then, um, you know, I'd expect him to build on what he's produced so far. The challenge of North's forward line, tall forwards, yep. it's, it's obviously one for all. You've got three tall defenders to go against and up against. How do you see the ideal matchups in the um, Yeah, I think, um, you know, we've played them twice this year, I think, so uh, probably be similar matchups again. Um, but uh, you know, throughout the game, that you know, that can change depending on how the game's going. Um, so I don't think that we, um, you know, we're not too certain of, of how it will play out yet. We haven't really discussed that yet. But um, I'd imagine it'll be similar to the other games. How do you rate their tall forwards compared to the rest of the competition? Uh, very good. Yeah, very good tall forward line. Obviously, um, uh, you know, great marking power. Um, they put on good defensive pressure, so that's a very good forward line. I should take confidence in this game because of the whole season he's he's had. I think he's had a terrific year, um, not just the Hawthorne game. What was the reason for the slow start on Friday night? You know, seven goals to one. You're always up against it after that, right? Yeah, so obviously just... Uh, I think our intensity, I think our ball use was a real issue in the first quarter. Um, when you turn the ball over, um, you know, it's really hard to, uh, you know, get back in a good defensive position. So I think it was mostly turnovers... Uh, with the issue in the first quarter. So how much have you learned from that going into this week then? If you do that again... You Don't turn the ball over, <laughs> yeah. So obviously ball use is really important. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we tidied that up after quarter time, but we picked up our intensity a little as well. So there'll be some crucial things in every game that you play. What, what do you put the turnovers down to, though? Was it their pressure or mentally were you not switched on? Um, it's hard to say. Each one could be a different story. But um, no doubt Hawthorne's pressure is very good, but... Um, yeah, I think we were able to cope with that throughout the rest of the game, so I think it was more on our side. Do you take confidence out of the fact that you were able to, to fight that game out? Yeah, I think, I think we've shown that most times this year. I think that, you know, this group's very resilient and, and um, I'm comfortable that we've got a team that can run games out really strongly and that, and that won't lie down.